First question is, what is your opinion about machine intelligent research and its uh, applications? Hmm, yes, it's a more, very important problem. Okay, and the old machine, like the industrial robot or the driving a car, it's not intelligent. Okay, so they are thinking about the all the time how to imitate human being as a machine. However, it's without brain. Mm -hmm. Now is the time we want to have some intelligent machines. It can be a robot, car, or whatever, mm -hmm. but they can use those looks like human brain. And it's very difficult, okay? So in the beginning, they are tried not the like brain, but just to imitate function of the brain and a very elementary function. But, but gradually they are thinking about more sophisticated intelligence. Okay? And still, it's not exactly the same as the human brain. Maybe it's impossible, but we have some com compromise between the real brain and the machine approach. What is for you really interesting f problem mm -hmm. for you in this field? Okay, so say the memory, human memory. So we can compare the memory structure of the computer and database. Okay? It's very well defined. On the other hand, my memory, I don't know what is, how it is structured mm -hmm. and what is a database of my memory, but it should be very completely different from the computer memory. The steel is missing. The base of the memory, they say, the synaptic connection change, and that's the source of the memory. Mm -hmm. okay? But the structure of the memory, say, the I remember the face of my friend, I remember some mathematics. What is the data structure? in the human memory. This is a big puzzle and a very interesting point yeah. to be answered, but very difficult problem. Do you believe that a brain will be created? Um, I know uh, it is uh, difficult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, artificially. I do not think the, the brain, like the real human being, is, is created. It, uh, theoretically, it's possible. Okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe the human being does not want to create mm -hmm. such almighty things, but we can create some brain which works in some very special aspect very well, or sometimes better than our human beings. But as a totality, maybe we do not want to create such things. Do you believe or do you think that a world should discuss about the problem between uh, human and robot interaction? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's a very interesting uh, yeah, mm -hmm. point. And the robot can understand, say, the sensation or feeling of a human. On the other hand, if the robot behaves something like humans or more closer to humans, we might feel that the robot is just thinking, or a robot is enjoying, or whatever. So there are some interaction and communication uh, among the ro ro robots and human beings. And uh, it's good for the future intelligent robot to have such pretension. <laughs> uh, what are the most important aspects of these technologies for applications? in a common way for people, common people? Okay, so they are thinking about one thing is the computers. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, the computers do not have body, yeah. okay? But just the, you know, monitors. And the, but we can communicate, we can order computer to do something. But also in the other, uh, um, the other stage, it's the robots. Robots can help us to bring something to take care of something, and so on. Now, the point of the robot, it has body. Mm -hmm. okay, the computer, it's so intellectual, may, can, can be, but no body. Mm -hmm. So we have the two different approaches. 
from computer science point of view to create more intelligent and gender machine. On the other hand, from robot side, having body and feel and search the outer world, and also has some good uh, intelligence. Mm -hmm. And those approach will be integrated into the new intelligent systems. Yeah. <laughs> okay.